On this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to that I uh, how I make my um, Facebook group ads, um, where I show like the the image that I show when I post my ads uh, with that red or yellow trim around it. So I'm going to show you how easily you can make your own, um, and uh, you know make them stand out a lot more in those Facebook ad groups. So. There's a couple sites that we're going to use for free uh, that's going to help us allow us to make these uh, images. <clears throat> so we're going to the first one we're going to go to, and you can just go directly to it, or you can go to Google. Um, is Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R, and it will bring it up. Pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com, and you just click that. It'll bring you to their home page and what you want to use is the editor which you can click here or click here and it's going to ask you the very first thing you may have to create an account I already have an account um, and you want to um, uh, create an image okay and once you click create an image it'll bring you to the image of the size that you want and basically the size you want you can make this any size you want but what I found uh, through my testing was the the exact one that I'm using that that fills the page perfectly is a width of 350 pixels by 350 pixels. Okay, and then you just select those manually, uh, and you can click OK. It'll bring the image like this. Um, now I prefer to use white as a as an image, so I'm just going to leave mine like this and just save it. Um, you may want to change the color with it. You can use the tools over here to change the colors and add different variances to it. Um, but I want mine to stand out more because I'm going to be using red and yellow as a trim and black um, text so that it will stand out a lot more and I find I get better results that way. Again, you could test any way you want though, really. Um, so then once you've got your image, whatever color you want, um, you would want to save it. So I'm going to save this um, this image and I'm just going to title it uh, Facebook ad template 350 by 350 okay or I guess you could call it uh, Facebook ad template 1 okay and you might have Facebook ad template 2 um, Actually, you know what? I'm just going to call it Facebook Ad Template because I forgot on the next it, on the next uh, thing I'm going to show you. That's where you're actually going to save them. So we're just going to use this as a template, okay? So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to save it in my documents or in my uh, picture. I'm going to create a new folder. In my, I'm just going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Sandy. So they marketing. Okay. So now we've saved it to the folder that you wanted to save or just made mainly to your main pictures. And that's it for this site. So now we've created a template. The next thing we want to do is go on to create and uh, be able to edit that template. So now you're going to use another free service online called PicMonkey. And you can do that at Google or you can go directly to PicMonkey.com. And while you're over here, you're going to hit Edit. And you're going to go to your library, um, like I've created this file. And I'm going to use the Facebook ad template. I'm going to open that up and it's going to bring my template. Now this is kind of where we're going to work with. Okay, um, And over here on the left hand side is basically the, the, the different options you have. And really we're only going to use a few of them, but we want to create that first border first. So we're going to use um, uh, frames. So you're going to click on frames and it's going to bring different uh, simple edge, rounded corners, things like that. So you could use, I've used rounded corners, uh, but basically I'm just going to show you how to use simple edge. Okay, and see, as you see now it has that black outline. Well, to change that you just change the outer, outer color to red, or you may want to use yellow. I'm going to, because you've seen my red one, I'm going to change this one to use yellow. You can change the thickness of it 
um, make it as big as yellow as you want. Um, again, so you, there's lots of options you can have. I like to put it at about t uh, 10, or sorry, about 12. Um, you may want a thicker. Uh, it's up to you. Have it would stand out. Okay. Um, and then I just apply. So now it's kind of saved on my my uh, workstation, my work area there. Now the next thing I want to do is add an image. You just go over this butterfly where it says overlays. Okay. Click on that. And it'll give you different ones you can put, but I don't find them applicable to what we're doing. So I'm gonna, we're going to use our own. Um, now, it, you can, if you've saved files in your pictures or you have images you want to use, you want to use an image of me or anything like that, um, you could save that image. Um, I'm going to show you another really cool way that you can find images. Um, just open another browser here. Go to Google. Uh, because many of you don't have images, so you want to go and you want to punch in um, uh, anything that would potentially bring up an image you could use for that. So, um, and you want to make it work or job related, right? So, work from home, and just punch work from home, and or anything. It could be work at home, make money online. Um, uh, anything you want that will bring up images and basically Google does it for you you just go there and it'll say web usually and you'll want to change it to images and it brings up all these images you could be using um, so we want to um, we want to use something that you know will draw attention so a picture is always good I don't I tried to put more words than pictures in it so I always like to add just one picture either myself or I use one of these images here that will uh, that will help me do that. And you may want to use the images there if you don't like what you see. There's millions and millions of images. Um, let's do work at home and see. Work at home jobs. So there's different ones come up. Um, images people working. Uh, there's This one is pretty cool. I've used this one before with this little bulletin board. Again, it doesn't matter what image you pick as long as it stands out and uh, but here, let's do this. Work at home mom makes 7,000. That's a little high <laughs> and realistic. Uh, extra, extra help wanted. Yeah, let's do that. So again, I'm just testing different ones. You could find the images. And again, you can change and sort for any kind. You could do money or whatever. I'm just going to do extra, extra classified help wanted. This one's pretty cool. So I'm just going to save it. And I just right clicked, which will bring up this little gray box. Um, and it where it says save image as just click that and I'm going to save it I'm going to save it in my Sandy Sylvain marketing template and I'm just going to rename it call it classified Help, or I'll change it and call it Help Wanted. Help Wanted Classifieds. You can call it whatever you want, of course. I'm going to save that, and now it's on my computer. Again, I can go back and pick other images I want or anything, but for this purpose, I just want to use one. So now I have my image saved, and now you, I've also showed you how to find images and save them to your computer. Uh, you, you're going to want to pick overlays and pick your own, so where it says your own, you click that. It'll take you to your file. If it doesn't, you'll go to the file where you have it saved. Just click on that image and hit open, and now you see it comes back up here. I want it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to change the size of that. Okay. It's a little blurry, but let's see how that goes. Okay, so that's my image. It has a little line in it. I may not want to use that one. Uh, so that kind of didn't show up so great. Uh, but um, so, but you get the idea anyway, right? Um, I'm just going to pick my own. I'm going to use a picture of myself.
I'm going to use this image instead. Uh, from home. Just move it around. You can change the size of it. Uh, you can add additional images if you want. Okay, so I'm going to use a, there's like another image. I keep blocking it up so you can't see my pictures of my family and, <laughs> you know, all these kind of things. Uh, I want to keep a lot of that private, obviously. Uh, so, actually, you know what I'm going to do? This there, and I'm going to put this up there, change, and then uh, now I'm going to add some words, so I just hit on the text here, and it will bring up different words, I can use different, uh, uh, different fonts, and there's lots of different fonts, there's ones you can upgrade to, so the ones with the little crowns and, and that, they'll ask you to pay, uh, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that, so um, I just use the free version, and you can too. So I just click on it to select it, and then I add text. You click on this, and it'll bring up the little text box here. And you have the ability over here in this right-hand side um, to do, you know, change the size of it, bold it, change the color of the text, center it, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to put in here this stay at home. Mother can show you how to work at home and make twenty three dollars and seventy five cents slash hour. And I'm just going to move this around. I'm going to move this image out yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that yet. Again, you have so many options, and you can change the, the text. You can center this. Uh, we might make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the... As you can see, it's like a very... It's an easy editor, almost like... Um, Um, almost like a Word document. I'm actually going to make it bigger. Decided. <laughs> Again, there's no right or wrong way. You can make anything you want. It could be as creative as we want. Uh, I'm going to put this over here. I, I will use the image. I'm just making these things up. I mean, you can make it as pretty as you want, obviously. Now, if you if you need text on what you're saying here, I mean, I really just try anything. Uh, but I get a lot of the ideas from uh, the Global Online Franchise uh, ads that Paul Bertzel has uh, provided in the Success Guide. But I also use uh, the, some of the suggestions and just gives me, you know, ideas from from Alec and and whoever's posted things inside the Global Online Franchise. And you can find those um, by going to the monetization step number four under Gateway Marketing, Marketing Gateway. And down below, it will show you in this section here, um, Paul Bertzel's basic plan. You can click there, or the online classifieds. And I'm just going to click on that to show you what I mean um, through the online classifieds. They give you a whole bunch of different ads to run, and these are the work from home ones that I you can get different ideas. So you could actually just take this whole text, not the URL, obviously, but if you have a forwarded URL, you could put it in your ad. Um, so you could take this whole thing and use it as your text, okay? And that will work too. And that's just where I get ideas from. So that's the basic ones. And then, of course, you can go um, back to the 30-day guide, Paul's 30-day guide, and you can look in there. And there's even more variations under online classifieds um, in there. So you could, there's different headlines you can use, different wording and things like that that I've, these are basically all the ones I use or, are the ones that I find in Global Online Franchise and in Pulse Success Guide. So just different things you can do in there, okay? Like where you can use more ad type things. Um, so I'm going to just see, 
normally I write them out, but or type them out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just add text to see if I can copy and paste it in there. So I just created a new text box, and oops, I'm going to paste it in there. Oh, okay, it sort of works. Um, and again, I'm gonna actually not say click here because I have my own domain name, so I'm gonna have it forwarded there. Uh, at www dot um dot com okay um and I gotta change some words up and let's gonna make this a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna use my editor a little bit or change the the color of it to be or black. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it stay. I'm going to use red. See? We could just be creative as we want. <laughs> um, and I'm going to change the size of it a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Play around with this. Hopefully you guys are getting the, the idea that, you know, there's no right or wrong way. It's We get to make it our own way, whatever way we want. A little bit bigger, so my, the domain fits all on there. I think I'm going to change the font so I can go back and over here. I'll use more of a more businessy looking type thing. So it looks like the writing is from me, and then there's just a little bit more details here. Change the size of that. Just by a little bit. Make that a little bit bolder. Make that a little bit bolder. Oh, I made it too big now. Three. There you go. Um, yeah, so it's kind of looking good. And that's all I do, really, is just make my ad like that. Again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on here figuring out. You can make it as pretty as you want and everything, but the point is is that it doesn't need to be. Um, and so then what you do at this point is you just save it. So this is my ad, and again, I'm just roughly throwing things together using what's given to us at Global Online Franchise, really, for the headlines. But now this is what you're going to do, save it, and it'll bring you to a page like this. And you want to save it to your computer over here. You just hit Save to your computer. There, my masterpiece is saved. <laughs> and I just saved it into that same folder um, that I created the template in so they keep them all in the same place. And then now I have that. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is, of course, to run an ad. So I'm just going to go back to my Facebook. So just to log into my Facebook account, and uh, I'm going to go just like I showed you in the other video on how to run the ads. Uh, now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to place it with your new created image, just for those of you that are really basic and beginners, uh, how to do that. So I'm just going to click on one of my ad groups again. I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to write, uh, now accepting new applications to work online with me. And again, I'm always going to add my, even though I have it in the ad, I'm going to always add my, my forwarded domain or your URL you should be adding. Uh, Paydayjunkie.com. Okay. I'm just going to change my ad a little bit. Number one online 
job that pays $23.75 slash hour. Okay, and then I'm gonna remember my image, show you how to put that in there. Show you how to add an image. And you post it into your ad, grabbing it from your folder where you saved it, of course. And now you just hit post, and now it will show up like that. See? The one we just made, easy peasy. <laughs> okay? So now when they click the, the link, um, it will show up. Now, what I found is, since making my last video, um, by making a comment, the very first comment always helps. Okay? And so g generally, um, I add, add a comment now, and I don't know why it works this way. Maybe it shows up quicker in their news feeds or because there's action going on with or not. It's just been a little test that I've done. And so after I make the post like that, I also, in the, the very first comment, I like to make a little comment and saying, uh, apply here. Just just anything. I, and usually I put apply here or go to this website or anything like that. And then I just put my website again in there. Or the, or the affiliate link, of course, for income snap. But mine is forwarded. Okay. Junkie. And I usually get a little bit more action from that. So I just posted it. Boom. So there's where it is. And then, uh, of course, it's posted in my Facebook wall, or in the news feeds. Right? So there it is. Now people are actually potentially seeing it. So that's how you make a, um, a Facebook ad, a group ad, um, uh, an image um, that will direct back. Of course, if you want to forward your own domain, you can go to greenwavehosting.com and forward your affiliate link for Income Snap to it, so it just looks a little bit better. You wouldn't want to put your affiliate link in the image. It just looks really ugly. Um, uh, but if you are forwarding the link, make sure that you add it into the post. So that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful in uh, showing you how to further your um, your marketing with uh, Facebook group ads in the uh, various different work from home uh, type income opportunity type um, uh, Facebook groups. Thanks again, Sandy, signing off.